The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to make this video real quick to talk about what I would, uh, what I think about the survey that uh, Blizzard sent out recently. Uh, Blizzard sent out a survey. It's supposed to be confidential, apparently, according to this tweet here. Basically, announcing that they're going to be doing TBC servers. They would be, because they want to like know what people think about how they're going to do it. They're not even asking, do you want it or not? At this point, they're asking, how do you want it to be released? You know. So uh, anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. Uh, they got four options here. I think option one and option four are actually kind of similar, kind of like inverse of each other. So the first option is uh, continue playing with the current classic character on an existing server as it progresses into TV, uh, TVC server uh, with the option to transfer to a classic server um, that will never progress past 60. Uh, so first of all, I think if they're gonna give people the option to transfer uh, back to a classic server, it would probably have... I'm wondering what the constraints are on a character that you send back to a classic server. Maybe the character just can't be over level 60 and can't have any items from the outlands on them. And that's it. Uh, and it could give you like an error, like this character is holding so-and-so items so it can't be transferred over or is in possession of. Or maybe the uh, what they'll have us do is you're logging in for the first time. It says, hey, this is your only chance. It's do or die. What characters do you want to transfer over? And then that's your that's all you got. Uh, I don't really see it being available to any new characters, or possibly any characters that you level after uh, it launches. Because say things are a little unbalanced, right? So you make a new mage. Uh, and then you have a level 70 carry you up to level 60 and then you transfer that to a vanilla server It would it would screw up with the, it would screw with the integrity of classic vanilla servers if you could transfer uh, Characters that have been influenced by burning crusade characters um, Over to them. Maybe it'll just be hey if you log in once then you can't transfer that character um, It'll be locked to the TBC server forever because you've logged into the TV server with that character I think that's what I would expect actually that's what would make the most sense to me. Um, anyway, so that's how I think it would work. But oh, also, whatever server uh, you transfer to, it wouldn't be a new... So the this classic server would be new, because it says that right there, but I don't think that the classic server would be like phase one or anything like that. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense, because then you could transfer characters with Nax gear over to phase one, and only MC is out. So... With this one, it's a, it's a decent idea. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, I like how it kind of emulates what happened in the original TBC release. Uh, obviously, servers just kind of uh, went into TBC, you know? Gates opened on vanilla... You know, you guys know what I'm saying. However, the issue that I have with this one is that it would affect the uh, momentum that the vanilla community has, right? So... Everyone going back to vanilla servers would have to actively choose to go back to brand new vanilla servers. We'll have to fight for which servers are going to be the best. We're going to have to say, we're going to have to find out what kind of reputation each servers are going to have all over again. All the all of people's mains will probably be on the TBC servers, and so you're only going to be dealing with alt characters that people are putting some time into, and it's just going to. And all of the big guilds will be forced over to TBC, and oh, maybe they decided that they're gonna have, uh, you know, some characters on classic servers, so they make half of their characters, or they make their uh, guild members make uh, alts for that, or maybe they don't, and we lose half of the guilds that they just go to the TBC. And I mean, with other options, they would go to TBC anyway, 
but it just kind of feels like with this option as far as vanilla is concerned you're just going to be building from the rubble you know putting together what's left after this big push to tbc and that just doesn't seem very safe for me like as far as vanilla goes so or as far as retaining um the momentum of vanilla servers goes so i don't want this option option number one seems like a terrible option to me for that reason alone um that reason like i'm like i'm almost like a one reason like one single issue voter that's what i'm looking for on this because any anything that's going to rip all of our vanilla characters into tbc and then we have to build vanilla back up from the ashes uh, does not sound like a good idea to me uh let's skip to four because it's kind of the converse of that uh, continue playing my current classic character on my existing server uh, that will never progress past 60 with the option to transfer into burning crusade servers now i like this option uh in theory you could have everyone exodus vanilla servers and then vanilla is still going to be picking up the pieces but at least it'll be okay we already have all of this on the vanilla servers we this is what we've built on vanilla servers now some people are going to choose to move some of that over and we still have this big foundation of what we've built you know uh however many people move over you'll still have some foundation there however if yeah if you do it the other way you're gonna just vanilla servers got nothing and they have to build back up and they're already in phase six i, I think i made my point for that so i would prefer point four uh number four over that now two and three they're kind of like number four except you can't transfer over it's like okay so you can't transfer over so what do you want you want level 58 so you want level ones uh i support transferring over because i still think that if you want to play the burning crusade it makes sense to bring over the wealth some of the wealth that you've accrued because although you're not although the server you're on isn't transferring into a burning crusade server like is what happened uh 15 or however many years ago at least some of your wealth can go over there you can make you can make preparations right you can spend all day uh, farming gold and vanilla so that you can afford things that you want early on in burning crusade that makes sense to me because it's an expansion right it's not like a new a new game so if it was a new game it would make sense to me that you would expect every everyone to be brand new uh no gold maybe they got little 58s fine whatever but it's still like a fresh server and everything's all new and no one has any money yet however since it's an expansion and the way things work historically and the way his ex expansions kind of function you're gonna have wealth transferring over and so option four is going to allow wealth to transfer over while options two and three are the same thing except without the wealth transfer um so i don't agree with that i think that wealth it makes sense to have wealth transfer over it's the way expansions historically have worked i don't think we need anything new there so i think i think you guys understand i'm going i'm going for four here that's four is what i would vote for but out of two and three which one do i think is better I think that the starting with the 58s would be interesting. You would have like little 58 Blood Elf Paladins and Draenei Shamans um, going in there with you. So your Horde sh your uh, horde Paladins and your Alliance Shamans can be there with your guild from day one. They won't be lagging behind like, oh, our guild needs a Shaman. We choose you to be our Shaman. So you're going to have to be fucking level one. Everyone else is transferring over with their 60s. So that is going to be an issue with option four, but it's an issue that I'm willing to take. Uh, but option two wouldn't see that issue. So that is a benefit that option two has over option four. But just to me personally, I like the idea of being able to prepare um, more than I like uh, the free 58 paladin or shaman. Uh, there's also a nostalgia factor that comes with not having an instant level 58 paladin and shaman. Um, you know paladins and shamans are going to be really important to have for the opposite you know for whatever faction and so guilds are going to be forcing people to level up and it's going to suck and blah 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 but really that only affects the first couple weeks and guilds can compensate 
uh, the players who have made those decisions or sacrifices for them. You say, oh, he's, these are our paladins, so we're going to be, uh, you know, they made the sacrifice for us, so we're going to be, um, you know, funneling them gear first uh, as a reward. Or, you know, something similar. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll get, uh, you know, dungeon runs by the higher level players uh, for making the sacrifice, you know, um, leveled quickly, for free, by their guild. But yeah, um, and then you have level one. That's just, I don't know, too try hard. Too much like, oh, it's a whole new game. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. It's an expansion. It's not a whole new game, you know. It never was that way. Maybe on private servers you could see it like that. Like when a private server drops for Burning Crusade. But that's not historically how it was. That's not nostalgic. Everyone being level one on a Burning Crusade server. It's just weird to me. I could see why some people would like it. It'd be like a new experience for a lot of people. Uh, and there'd be a race to the top from level one. Who gets the first level 70? Like what happened with Classic WoW. I mean, that was interesting to watch. But you could still have the race from 60 to 70 or 58 to 70. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, and yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. Um, option five would be continue playing with current character on my existing server. But also have the option to copy my characters over to the Burning Crusade server. I think that would be my favorite because you can accrue wealth and uh, you can still keep all your wealth. But that's, it's just really, when it comes down to it, it's just like a, a greedy thing that I would want just to save myself time, right? Save myself from having to make an alt. I'm not going to be a crybaby about it and if they don't do it, you know, who cares? I understand. It's it's a lot to ask for a character copy, I, I feel. But uh, yeah, option number four is what I'd go with. Thanks for watching. Um, stay safe out there with Corona and, uh, still working on my Dire Mall tribute run, um, series. Now, the thing that I want this to set this series apart from other series or other Dire Mall guides, Dire Mall North tribute run solo guides with Hunter is that it's as detailed as possible. I try to talk about everything I can think of, you know. I'm not just like, oh, here's how I do it, and then that's it. You know, I talk about what could go wrong and how you could fix it. I talk about specific placements and um, alternative ways you can do things. Uh, it's about consistency. It's not about, you know, going as fast as possible. And the point of consistency is that you don't, you're not making money if you if you die once in Dire Mall North. You you want to do ten runs consecutively, you know. If you can do 10 runs in 15 minutes, that beats like doing eight runs in 13 minutes with, you know, two wipes in there. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.